Happy apartment shopping day. Hello you guys, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a shop for my apartment with me vlog. I'm so excited. This will be the first time that I'm going out and actually shopping for my first apartment and it's making it feel so real and I just like, I can't wait. Today I'm going to pick up my friend Caroline and we're gonna go shopping at Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, and Staples, mostly to get things for my apartment, but we're also gonna stop in at Staples to get some like back to school supplies, pens, notebooks, whatever. Okay, so this video is gonna be part shop with me, part haul. If you are only here for the haul and you don't wanna see any of the shop with me vlog footage, I'll put a timestamp on screen right in this corner area for the time that you can skip to just to get to the haul stuff. But for everyone else, we're gonna get started right now. There's something in that one. language is your time and attention. Don't you give some of it to me? I've been lonely lately. I've been feeling neglected. And I want you to show me. Can we get back on the same page? Tonight, can we stay? We're going through the like duvet covers and comforters and like clothes section and this is the third time that I've tried to look at bedding and I cannot decide on what I want. I'm getting stressed. Let me know what Yeah, that's that's abysmal. And I'm like looking at the picture and I'm like it's even a really? Ew. Especially the crushed velvet. That's sorry to anyone that has that blanket, but it could not be me. Okay, I think this is really cute and like the color scheme that I'm going for. Right? I think. I, how much is it? Does it say? It does not say. But I'll put it in there anyway. Cute. Okay, here we're getting into the like home and kitchen section and this is where I know I'm gonna spend just like unnecessary money. Like I saw this. And it's so cute and I want it in my kitchen but like, not for $8. <laughs> I'm just gonna get the blender. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but they're always good to have. They're like, you always need those for something. That is very unfortunate. Cheap. All right, let's go. Before I keep holding up the line with my vlogging. It's sunny at the most days. You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down. Yeah. Yeah, like the sunflower ones are really cute. How much are they? But like, that looked a lot cuter from the side than it did from the front, never mind. Okay, I like these, these are cute. Like, I like this a lot. I don't know what, like, this wire is though. If it's to, oh, it must be to hang it. Like, you could hang it and it's got, like, lights in it. Oh, I like that. I don't know like, I like the, it. yeah, I like the idea of it better than I the actual product. Because I feel like if you have jars on your bathroom car already, like, that would just be too much. Better. Yeah, me too. At the Airbnb that I stayed at, they had a globe on the desk. Cute. I kind of want to have some of these on my wall. Because I want to do a gallery wall again. But like, this. Like this would match my the blanket that, and the pillow that I just got. Mm -hmm. So like that would be cute. 
I love plants, so that would be cute. Even this would be right? Like I wish you could I just feel like these are like right, just the one. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, I've decided. We have decided. We said most of these are cheap. We absolutely should. Yeah, all of these, they're really cute, but they're just they're too expensive for and something that I could make myself. And then you can like, quote whatever you want. Yeah, because I'm not really wild or free. No, and I feel like it's kind of like, it reminds me of like, something I would be on an Aeropostale shirt yeah. that you would wear in like six Wild and free. Oh, okay. oh, no, that one. Oh, 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 Okay, so I didn't buy any bedding in Target because I'm an indecisive person, but now we're literally in bed, bath, and beyond, and it's time for me to make a choice. <laughs> I'm also just like literally one of the most indecisive people I know. Like it's a different sort of texture. It's got the little like. I like the idea of having no fam. I'm so annoying to shop with. I'm just I'm so indecisive and I never like I never know what I I know what I want but I most of the time I feel like what I want just doesn't exist. Okay, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. How am I gonna? Oh, there's a handle. Fits perfectly. <laughs> I don't think I need any more pillows. I feel like I have like a lot of pillows. Oh, are those the sheets over there? Okay, I'm getting a soap dispenser. My roommate got this toothbrush holder in this pattern. So I want to get a matching soap dispenser right here. Okay, I think we got everything. We've got our cart here with all of our like candles and stuff. Um, soap dispenser, mirror, all that good stuff. Caroline's covering. Carrying, I could not think of that word, my comforter. I think that's good. I think that's everything that we need. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see we are here exclusively for school supplies and I'm absolutely sure that we're gonna end up getting more than school supplies and just looking at stuff that we don't need because it's staples. Okay, hello guys, I am back. I have all of my things laid out here in front of me and we're gonna go through a quick little haul of everything that I got. If you just skip forward to this point, I did Staples, Target, and Bed Bath & Beyond. So I'm gonna be going through each of these stores one by one. So I kind of wanted this to also be a like shopping on a budget video. So I'm gonna be going through what I spent at each store. I kept my receipts. Okay, first we're gonna start with Target. So at Target, I ended up spending a total of $107.25 which first of all is legendary for Target. I feel like I always go into Target thinking I'm not gonna spend very much money and I am spending a lot of money, but today it was the opposite where I thought it was gonna be super, super expensive, like 300 plus dollars and it was only 100. Okay, first thing, this is probably the most expensive. Yeah, this was by far the most expensive thing that I got at Target. This is a single serving blender. I got this because I didn't know if we were gonna have a big blender for the apartment and I kinda wanna get back into smoothies and like eating more fruit and stuff, so. I got this, this was $25. Next, I just grabbed one of these blankets. This is a cute like peachy pink kind of corally color. I think this is gonna go with my color scheme. It was $5. It's a throw blanket. It's super, super soft. And then it also looks like it's gonna have these little like white 
stripey bits on it so I just had to grab this it was super inexpensive and so cute and I was like you know what I might as well okay next from Target I've got a couple of small things I got this beauty blender from elf this was like I think five dollars I just got this because I needed a new one the one that I was using before was from five below and absolutely disgusting so I definitely needed a new one next I got this eight pack of black scrunchies I love having a scrunchie on my wrist I have one on my wrist right now so I got this pack of all black ones because I wear the black ones more often I got some command hooks. These are the clear ones, the little ones, they hold half a pound. I used these my freshman year at college, but it's been so long since I've been there that I don't even know if I still have the ones that I got then. And I know I like them, so I just got another pack of these. Next from Target, I got this pack of hand towels for the kitchen. This is a pack of five. These were for $13, which I thought was such a good deal. That averages out to less than $3 per towel, so... I don't actually know if that's a good deal or not, but it felt like a good deal, and so I took it. These are such a cute little, like, baby blue, kind of baby teal color and white, and they've got two different patterns. There's three of these vertical stripe ones, and then there's two of the kind of more, like, horizontal stripes with the more decorative pattern, I would say. But I got these for the kitchen. I think these are so cute and just gonna be, like, a nice little touch to have in our kitchen. Next kind of small thing I got from Target is this cute candle. This is the scent Coastal Sage. It smells really good. I mostly got it because I just thought the packaging was really cute and I do like the scent. So this is for school. Um, this will probably go in my room somewhere. Maybe on my desk, probably on my desk. Next, we've got two of these white plain towels. These I got as my bath towels. Okay, last thing I got from Target is this super cute throw pillow that I'm holding upside down. This is kind of like the color scheme that I want to go with for my room. This color, a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow. Just I want it to be like really bright and inviting and happy, kind of like boho. So I thought this pillow was so cute and fit that theme so well because it's got this cute like embroidery detail on the front and it's got these little tassels and I just I couldn't I couldn't help myself this was too cute not to get so that's everything from Target I feel like that's a really good haul I felt like really happy with the things that I got from Target I feel like I got a lot for my money next we're gonna move on to Bed Bath & Beyond which we went to next okay so at Bed Bath & Beyond I got three things and I ended up spending $84.59 that was mostly the comforter that I got, but I still think that's a really good price for like a whole comforter set and the other things that I got, I think that was a pretty good price. I was happy with it. Most obvious thing that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond was my comforter set. This has a comforter and two pillowcases. It's just this nice plain white cotton and then it has this cute like embroidery slash like sewn on pattern on it. Just a little bit of texture to break it up, but this is really cute and simple and exactly what I was looking for with a comforter because I want all of the like design elements to be like my pillows and my accent pieces. So I'm pleased. I'm also really indecisive. I think that was in the vlog footage. I think that was very clear in the vlog footage that I'm really indecisive when it comes to what I want for like my bedroom. I thought I knew and then I started buying stuff and now I don't know but I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be really nice and we'll go with anything next from Bed Bath & Beyond I got this soap dispenser for our bathroom that I'll be sharing with my roommate Morgan she got a toothbrush holder in the same pattern and I wanted to make sure that we like match in the bathroom because like I'm obsessed with that kind of stuff so I just got this matching soap dispenser it's super cute and then last from Bed Bath & Beyond I got this candle it's super cute it's blue with a little gold trim on the bottom it smells really nice I don't actually know what the scent is um it doesn't say but it smells really good <laughs> Okay, lastly, we have Staples. I got four things at Staples, and my total was $17.84, which, again, is, like, legendary for Staples because I always go in and buy way too much stuff that I don't need at Staples, so that was a really good price for the things that I got, I think. First thing I got is this pack of black pens. These are the Pilot G2 gel pens. I think they're gel. Yeah, they're gel pens. Black ink in the .05 millimeter size. These are such good pens. I love these. I've only ever written in blue with these, but I got the black ones because classic black ink. Next, I just got this five subject notebook in white. I kind of wanted a cuter one, something maybe with like a design or like a pattern on it, but they don't really make a ton of super cute five subject notebooks, so 
This one will be fine. I'll be taking four classes in the fall, so I got this because I want to have all of my notes for all my classes in one place so I never grab the wrong thing by accident. I don't like walk out of the door with the wrong notebook because that's a nightmare and you don't want to do that. And then last for staples, I got two of these glass mason jars. These are, they were on sale for like a dollar or like dollar and change. So I got two of them. These are gonna be for the bathroom that Morgan and I share. We wanna do this cute like tray, I guess, that has like our soap dispenser, cotton rounds, Q-tips, all of that kind of stuff, and like a plant. So these are for the Q-tips. I got one for Q-tips and one for cotton rounds. Okay, lastly, I just have one like miscellaneous blanket that I got with my mom a couple of days ago that wasn't included in the vlog footage, but I saw this blanket and I absolutely had to get it because it is so soft and it was so cute. It's this knit gray blanket and it's got this white little diamond pattern on it and I just thought it was so cute. Even if I don't use it in my bedroom, we'll definitely be able to use it as a throw blanket for like the living room. And I, I'm just like, you can never have enough blankets. So this was super cute. Definitely not the most affordable. This was $40. I got this at TJ Maxx. Um, so definitely splurging a little for a blanket, but it's really nice quality and it's super comfy and cozy and cute. So I think it was worth it. All right, you guys. So that is everything I got today at Target, Staples, and Bed Bath & Beyond. I feel like I did a lot of damage today, bought a lot of cute stuff for my apartment. And I definitely feel like I'm on the right track for having everything that I need or almost everything that I need when I move into Michigan in less than a month. It's in like three weeks, which is so exciting. I will probably do a part two to this video that's online shopping for my apartment because there are a lot of things that I want that I only know where to find online. So I'm probably gonna make that video. If you wanna see that, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like on this video and subscribe if you have not already. But I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.